Hey guys, I'm Ethan Moore from Stockroom Supply. Um, I was having a conversation with uh, Charlie on the phone about churning tools um, just yesterday and explaining how they're measured and things like that. And after the convo, my sister Katie um, had the idea I should probably make a video about this because it's a pretty common question. So when we're talking about churning tools, things like a, a scraper, ultra simple. Um, you're gonna measure the width of that scraper there. So that's a one inch dome scraper. Really simple. And same with a parting tool except the opposite direction because you're using a parting tool this direction, you're measuring the width, so that makes that an eighth inch parting tool, measuring it that way. Where things get a lot more complicated is when we're talking about bowl gouges, spindle gouges, and roughing gouges. So we'll start with a bowl gouge here. So Wrecker Power would call this a 3 8 bowl gouge. Now, if we look at that, for us in North America, that may look more like, if we measure that, if we measure, it's more like half of an inch outside diameter to outside diameter. That's how we're used to measuring in North America here. So we would call that a half inch bowl gouge. The way the UK measures and elsewhere, inside of the flute to the outside diameter, so that's where we get three eighths from right there. So, Pretty much, bowl gouges are really consistent. North America, outside of the shaft, UK and elsewhere, inside of the flute to the outside diameter shaft. When we're talking about spindle gouges and roughing gouges, it's even more confusing because there's no real consistency. Some, uh, some companies in the UK and elsewhere will measure outside to outside, while some will again measure inside of the flute to the outside. So this right here, Again, record will call that a one inch roughing gouge. If we measure outside to outside here, that's more like inch and a quarter. If we measure inside of that flute to outside, let me get my finger out of the way. I don't know if you can see that, but that's my one inch right there, my one inch measurement. So again, record power inside of the flute to the outside. And then same deal on a spindle gouge here. I've got this big spindle gouge. The diameter of that, a little over half inch but inside of that flute to the outside diameter shaft is half inch where that would be considered a half inch spindle gouge so long story short record power and most companies in the uk when you're getting a uk made churning tool they are going to measure inside of the flute to the outside diameter of the shaft to get the size of the gouge they're all the same on bowl gouges, essentially. Some companies, it's all over the map with roughing gouges and spindle gouges. Long story short, make sure you know how that company measures before you go and buy something, because you may be expecting to get a one inch roughing gouge, but you may actually get an inch and a quarter, or, or what you would consider an inch and a quarter. So yeah, record power, the way they measure, inside of the flute to the outside of the shaft. So in North America, a 3 8 bowl gouge, I would think more like a half inch. A half inch bowl gouge, more like 5 8 um, So something just to keep in mind, um, where a lot of guys don't maybe realize that's how they do it. So yeah, if anybody else has any questions, you can email me at info at stockroomsupply.com or just comment on the video. Now if you wanna see future videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell button on the bottom. Thanks for watching.